Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chai with Rai. Hi, I'm your host Rai, and each week I bring you a guest or a fruitful message from the creative industry, all while sipping and spilling some hot garam chai, and of course discussing all things life and culture surrounding the creative industry. Now, if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode. If you love this podcast and are listening to this on Spotify, Apple Podcast, Audible, or wherever you stream your podcasts from, if you could do me a kind favor. And make sure to rate the podcast and share it on your stories, on your socials, and spread the word. It organically grows the show and connects us with listeners who haven't tuned in before, and overall just shares the love for me. Now let's warm up our cuppers and let's dive into today's episode because I am going to tell you a little sneak peek of what is to come on Chai with Rye, which is I am launching an eight episode storytelling series titled symphonies of beaded threads coming soon on chai with rai now these episodes are going to feature eight female identifying non-binary global majority i need a breath so many things to say multidisciplinary creators although some of them are not performed by them some of them are performed by like actors and family members you just have to keep your eyes peeled but it is so exciting also it's not just going to be storytelling it is going to be like storytelling and then it's going to have an interview so it still keeps you you know a little bit of an insight because i am obsessed when i look at like stories for people when i go watch like theater shows or when i watch films or do certain things i always like to research on people and look into their insight on how they did things. This. so you know it's gonna have a little bit of shooting like that so without further ado let's warm up our cuppers and let's dive into today's episode because it's going to be three-parted it is going to be first part why and how i'm doing this two the titles and the creatives that are involved in this a little sneak peek into that and then the third is the actual sneak peek slash trailer whatever you want to call it soundbite soundbite yeah that's what we're going to be also keep your eyes peeled because i am going to do a listening party for it physically here in london but you know i could do it globally as well so drop me a dm and maybe i could do like a little zoom situation or things like that it is going to have the creatives it's going to have the final edit of everything then also we're going to do like a little q a and like you know network maybe drinks and stuff like that so keep your eyes peeled for that i'm also going to put in the bio description of this episode all of the information of the artists involved so make sure to check that out too but without further ado let's dive into today's episode so why I decided to do this and how I'm doing this, this is self-produced and directed by myself, although I'm collaborating with every single person that is on here. And by the way, if I didn't mention this before, each episode is going to be so different because they are going to follow different forms. Some of them are like poetry driven. Some of them are spoken word driven. Some of them follow like traditional routes of storytelling. Some of them are experimental. I'm in post-production for them right now, except for one story, which is Race a Story. That is one of the creatives that is writing a piece called 38% that was going to be in the second part but just go with it so yeah that is that why i decided to do this a couple of reasons one i'm a massive believer in the fact if nobody gives you an opportunity you create one for yourself so i have been coming along with lots of like challenges career challenges lots of my peers we talk about this all the time and i'm just like you know what if there's no accessibility of things being given to you and you feel like you're coming across hurdles let's just do it for ourselves and let's involve the community. Let's lift each other up and let's do this. Let's literally get on this train and let's do the work. So that is one of the reasons that I, why I'm doing this. I want to create something accessible, something that, you know, lasts the test of time. I also wanted to challenge myself as a creative. So like I said, I'm producing this, I'm editing this, I'm directing this, I'm collaborating with people. I've never done storytelling in an audio format if that makes sense like i've directed theater shows i've creative directed you know like fashion stuff i've done movement direction on film i've done like music videos commercials but it hasn't been in this format and i really wanted to expand my understanding of storytelling so that is why as well and i also wanted to collaborate with people who were like poetry based or spoken word based or were like theatrical based and kind of bring that into this realm so we're doing that and i wanted to expand things on chai with rai i really feel why i created what chai with rai was i wanted something like this when i was entering the the industry i didn't have anybody giving me the tools and tricks on how to survive in the industry which not a lot of people do and there's no traditional route into the industry so that's why i have a lot of people on here to kind of like demystify and challenge not myself my notions that maybe come from like let's say insecurities or my lived experiences but also 
challenge each other so like the business of the entertainment industry and then possibly like collaborate on work and really really do the work of the community yeah i hope that makes sense that goes along with it so yeah those are a couple of reasons on why i decided to do this i also wanted to work with a lot of these people i wanted to have them on chai with rai and kind of curate things around them because i really believe in the talent and the brain and the the work that they do so this is me encapsulating them and making their work you know digital lived forever accessible so they have something as well i also think when you do like radio plays or audio stuff a lot of these things are not tangible sometimes like having applied for some of these things and how accessibility can work and i was like i have this space now established i've been working on it i want to experiment with it i want to bring people along with it that is the overall umbrella of why i'm doing it and how i'm doing it so we've collaborated a lot of on the on the textures of sound some of them are like just plain old like I'm speaking to you right now no music involved some of them are going to have like sounds involved I think I said this before some of them are going to have actors speaking the pieces so like the writers have written it and they necessarily didn't want to perform it so therefore we got an actor involved in it even though I've done poetry and spoken word before I've self-directed I've never directed anybody else so that was a great challenge in experimenting with performance and delivery and voice and musicality and tempo so there's been a lot of inquisitiveness and dramaturgy into oh what is it that you want to do oh what if you took this oh what if you restructured the first paragraph with the last paragraph oh what if you did this with your voice oh i feel like this is missing so there was a lot of things and there was a lot of like what would you like from me what would you like to do for yourself and we also discussed some of those things into the questions the interview which i do with the artist so that touches us on the why that touches on the how and now for the second part i'm going to dive into what each piece is called and who they are by so let's get into the first piece the first piece is brain freeze by carmina bernhardt it is i'm going to give some words let's say gritty it is a very gritty and poignant piece i met carmina at thara theater and we got into conversations and i've had i've wanted to have carmina on the podcast for such a long time so i'm so happy that carmina's on it and the piece that she has written is absolutely just juicy that's all i'm going to say next piece is by yasmin dankua and it is called an epic as told by my grandma's photo album yasmin and i met at soho writers lab yasmin is also a very very established spoken word poetry artist and this was definitely one of the one of the pieces which kind of like challenged me in the musicality and the tempo of it words to go with last means peace ooh 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 personal personal nostalgic those would be the words that i would say for you and the next piece let's get into that is Catherine by Bethany Jemo. I pitched this idea to Bethany and Bethany was like, "Yes, I'd love to get involved." And the piece, oh, how to describe the piece? Mm 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 sonically divine. Let's go with that. Oh, oh, what else? What else? Family, maternal. Let's go with those words. The next piece is by Raisa Kai and that is called 38%. Now Raisa is the last standing person whose piece has not been recorded so I can't say much on it. I've seen early drafts of it. We're still working on it. We're going to record it in the next week coming up. And so far, ooh, 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 Raisa's, I know Raisa through like spoken word poetry and producing stuff. So I cannot wait to collaborate with Raisa on this. So I can't give any words on it other than strong. Raisa's writing is really, really strong. So it's going to have a clear direction. Cannot wait for that. Next piece is by Soraya Hamidi and it is called Take My Picture. Soraya and I met at Kiln Theatre's Writers Program. Soraya wrote this really abstract, surreal, I don't know how to describe it, wonderful piece at the Kiln Theatre Showcase. And it's interesting when you kind of like know people who write and in all of the writing programs and a lot of things that we have done, we always talk about like styling or having a distinctive voice. I think Soraya has a very distinctive voice and it's interesting because Soraya talks about like not having enough theatre background, but this has a very clear like Soraya stamp on it for me and i cannot wait for you to hear our conversation as well where we talk about like the business of theater or like american theater versus like british theater and words to go for take my pictures 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. This was an emotional piece for me, by the way, as well. I'm just going off a tangent because I really connected with this piece. I really, I don't know if the word is sympathized or empathized with this piece and it really triggered me. That's, that's why I would say it triggered me. And for people listening out there who are directors or producers, I would love to get your take on when you direct something or produce something or write something that is close to your heart, how do you disassociate whilst driving that ship or being involved in that ship and like facilitating the story? So this one was really challenging for me personally, but words to go with this piece are ooh, 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 love, love and support and fight. Those would be the words that I would say right now. Let's let's just say that. The next piece is Sheet Sit by Rihanna Howard. Rihanna is also on the Young Week Theatre's Fresh Direction program with myself. And Rihanna has written a brilliant piece that is like so wordsmith. That's what I'm going to say. Wordsmith. It has words like cacophony in it and like so many other things which I was just like, whoa, man, literature, literature, thesaurus. Was it synonyms? I was like, what is happening right now? And Rihanna does actually a really brilliant job. I think Rihanna should go into voiceover work. So Rihanna, if you're listening to this, I really, really would like you to. It's almost like, you know, when you listen to those podcasts or episodes when you're trying to go to sleep and it has like soothing voice or like if you've ever watched that Friends episode where <laughs> Rachel goes to the spa and she's like, welcome. I'm not saying Rihanna's voice is like that, but I'm just saying it fits into that realm. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Next piece is by Afria Jasmine Nylander and it is called Professional Daydreamer. Afria was also one of the people who was with me on the Kiln Theatre's Writers Programme. And it might seem like right now that I'm just accumulating people that I know that I've done Writers Programme with, but also, yeah, you know what? It is. Why not? Why not? I put a call out. These were the people that responded. Why not? And I wanted to work with these people. So boom, that's that. Um, Afria's piece is actually really, really youthful, nostalgic, and then punches you, like literally like punches you. And I cannot wait for you to hear it because you might be like, oh, it's going this way. But guess what? It's not. So that's that. Next and the last piece is called Chemo in the Summer by Gayatri Kamala Kanthan. Now, Gayatri's piece. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This was another piece that I felt I was challenged as a director and we collaborated a lot with. Gayatri was super open to like what to do in terms of format, how to do delivery. To be honest, every single person was. I just want to say that. But Gayatri's piece really challenged me in terms of like spoken word and poetry again because I was like, oh, I know how to do traditional theatre and experimental theatre and like film and all of these things. But spoken word and poetry... I was like, ooh, what to do, what to do. And then we talked about like the heart and the core and like textures and sound and like the message, the meaning, the nuances and really, really worked on that. So I cannot wait to like post-produce this. I cannot wait to post-produce all of them and wait for you to hear it. Words to go for chemo in the summer or painting visual heart those are the words to go with it so hopefully that gives you a little bit of an insight into everybody's pieces also there's more information into every single person on my website i will put all the link below i will put their socials below so you can like give them a little store give them a little support give them a little and make sure you click that subscribe button make sure to follow us on the social media make sure to keep an eye off everything when i release this because i'm gonna release them one by one very 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 soon very soon now without further ado we're gonna dive into the third part which is the sneak peek slash trailer of this episode so let's get into it will this soften the lines Sharp, Will this gleaming obsidian dodecahedrons and the many writing and twinkling to silver band that leaves behind a soft metal taste. I'm not alone. Take my photo. For Sana and no one tells me what words like malignant in my country or rehabilitation mean. Ordinary sounds and silence. I know. Instead, I will never be able to. I know. I will never see my worlds and characters in reality.
Well, that brings us to an end, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. And make sure to keep up to date by following all of the artists involved. Make sure to follow myself on Chai with Rai on all of the social and things like that, because I will be releasing all of this very, very soon. If you need any more information, everything will be in the description of this podcast. But thank you so much for listening, and I cannot wait for next week's episode. However, I will leave you as I always do, which is breathe in, breathe out. Namaskar, which means that I must go. I will see, you, and that is for sure. I will see you if you do it because that is copyrighted. <laughs> I'm joking. Until next time, stay curious, everyone. Also, have a bloody brilliant week and share the love with every single person. Do something nice for yourself. Do something nice for all the people around you. Spread that love. Spread the flowers. Spread the positivity. I really need to go. I need to pee. All right. See you next time. <laughs>